My name is Stephen Silverbeard and welcome to my No Man's Sky Permadev series. And if you, if you guys are following the series, you're probably wondering what I'm doing sat on a space station with the No Man's Sky next update message up on my screen. Because if any of you guys have actually started a previous save game, you'll be aware that this is the message you get when you first start the game after coming in after the next update. And what's actually happened was I had an incident with a random player and they killed me and effectively because I'm in permadeath I lost my save game luckily prior to the next update I actually took a manual backup of my save game simply because well a new update you never know when, when you're just going to crash for an arbitrary reason and that's the reason I took it and I'm actually now back in this position I think I can clear this message now and I suppose we better get rid of this stuff as well and how did that happen well it was partly my own fault i'm going to put my hand up to it guys because what happened was is i was went into normal mode and i actually had a look at playing multiplayer i didn't actually play very much but i just wanted to see the mechanisms of the multiplayer and what i actually did was is i went into here and i actually switched on network play to on and then what happened was a few hours later I decided that I wanted to work on the mission if any guys watched the previous part I picked up a mission where I had to go and s scan lots of creatures and I thought well I'll just go in and scan some creatures in preparation for recording the next part in my permadeath series and so I went in I wasn't recording it I was just expecting to go down on a planet spend quite a, f a couple of hours wandering around scanning creatures I think I had to scan about 19 creatures and I was kind of spawned on the space station and I was making my way down to a planet to on a base and I've, I'd found a base and as I was approaching the base a message kind of flashed up on the screen saying that somebody had joined my game and I, I didn't pay much attention to it because I thought well if they're in the in the same planetary system they can fly around a bit and then maybe we'll meet up later on but what I wasn't aware that they were on me within minutes and by then I'd landed and I quite mistakenly got out of my ship to go and get into the base and the next thing I knew I was being hit by a lot of fire from a and I actually managed to turn around just in time to see that it was a unique ship and they literally killed me within seconds with this fire from their ship and well what can you say I was a little bit annoyed and I think that's an understatement because my first reaction is I've lost a whole year of play and then after I sat down I suddenly remembered that I did the manual backup so I was a bit more happier and then I sat down and I thought well how did I get in this situation because I played quite a few hours in permadeath and no one had ever shown up in in many of my games why was this person suddenly showing up and able to shoot me so I then spent an exciting I think it's about three four hours trolling through forums trying to find an answer and it's all a bit sketchy so I'll give you guys a bit of a heads up that what I'm going to talk about, I haven't been able to confirm, this has been pulled out of the forums. And the key comes down to this mode here. Now, network play is on by default when you start any game in No Man's Sky. So if you want to play single mode, survival or permadeath, you need to turn this off. Now, what I'd forgotten to do is turn this off before I came into permadeath mode. And effectively what that means is that although you load a single player game you are still effectively in multiplayer in, a, in, in, in the sense that any random player can join your game and appear. So this is a key point that you need to get your heads around guys that multiplayer is active all the time unless you've got your network play off. So if you're playing survival permit days, make sure you need to get this off. Now, there's another point which came up in the forums. And again, I haven't confirmed this, guys. But what people are saying is the fact that if you've been playing multiplayer and then you come into a game like this and say you suddenly realize you've got this setting on and you turn it off, that does not guarantee that some some random player can still join your game because 
what seems to happen is that when you start the game you effectively register your game as an active server uh, gateway for people to join your game and the only way you seem to be able to activate this network off condition is to turn it off quit the game and then come back in again although there is some anecdotal evidence that people have said that they've even had the network option off and random players have still been able to get in so that's a little bit of a warning guys and what I want to do now is carry on with some of the other information that you need to be aware of and that is the fact that how quickly that player was able to get onto me and I think this is a bit of a design flaw that Hell of Games have put into multiplayer especially from the perspective that some players may want to be playing PvP simply because most other games where you've got PvP you're in an environment and you're in a situation where players have to get towards you and you can actually see them coming but what happens when someone joins your game as a random player they literally spawn within minutes of you and there's a great big billboard hanging around your neck saying that person is there so if you see somebody joining your game you've only got a few minutes to react before they're gonna get down on top of you so this is another point you need to remember and but there is a way you can deal with this guys if, if you someone comes into your game and you're in single player mode and you don't want anyone in your game what you do is you come down to here you open up this and their name will appear here and what you can do is throw them out of your game so if you're in permadeath mode or survival mode and you don't want company that's the thing you need to do immediately don't prevaricate because if you throw them that's exactly what I should have done when that person turned up I shouldn't have just ignored them I should have come straight in here and actually bump them from the game and what that does is it throws them back out into their own start menu again and then they, then if they want to go and join another random game they've got to go through the process so that's a top tip guys that you need to defend yourself especially if you're playing permadeath mode survival mode and you don't want anyone coming in on your single player game that's something you need to do immediately now having said that I'm coming across as quite negative and very anti-multiplayer although I must admit my confidence in multiplayer has been knocked a little bit but say if there's a scenario where you're playing normal play and you do want to hook up with random players and talk to people and see them well the best suggestion I can make is the fact that if, if you want to be in that mode and you want you see someone joining the game be in a space station or if you land on a planet stay in your spaceship or get into a base until they actually declare their intentions I know it seems a bit cynical guys but on here you can't actually activate a weapon so a space station is effectively neutral territory if you're in your spaceship down on the ground obviously if you're in space you can get shot up but if you're down on the ground they can shoot at you and you won't do any damage and of course that also applies to planetary bases so there's just a so if you guys want to get into contacting random players I think that would be the best approach unless of course you don't mind getting shot or you've got a really tanked up ship where you're able to defend yourself because there are there is there was a couple of comments in the forums about people being bounced by enthusiastic newbies who thought they could shoot up everyone and they ran straight into someone who'd been playing a long game with a fully equipped uh, uh, hauler with all the upgrades all ready to go with all the shields and of course they and they were also near their uh, capital vessel with frigates and needless to say that the enthusiastic newbie who thought they were going to indulge in some v pvp very quickly got themselves blasted out of the sky and I think that's about all the information I can impart what I will say guys if any of you guys have had any experiences in this area feel free to add a comment in the video so that we can share the information around I think multiplayer is an area where hello games may have to try and work and po polish it a little bit especially in the context of single player users and my feeling is that you should be able to almost say I'm in single player mode you should and then that effectively guarantees he locks out other people anyway that's my opinion so to wind this video up guys I'm just going to talk a bit more about what I'm going to do with my permadeath series obviously 
I've lost all the progress I've made in the videos that I've made about restoring my base and actually uh, recovering my freighter and my ships and recruiting frigates and obviously the mission that I launched my frigates out on is all gone so I, I can't tell you the result of that mission. The way I see it is I've been given an opportunity to restart my permadeath series from the point of the next date update dropping and being able to apply what I've learned about the next update because my first video on the next update in this series was I, I jumped in cold and I think I made a, quite some pretty bad mistakes which I can now be given an opportunity to correct but at the same time guys I don't want really want to bore you with going through all those steps again unless of course you're really interested so what I'm going to do is especially in the light of maybe the potential problems with multiplayer I will probably play my permadeath series off camera for a little while just to get established and then maybe I will show you guys some highlights of the progress I'm making because I don't really want to stop my permadeath series but I do want to shift the focus onto uh, another series and having sat down and thought over the last few hours that I think I do want to start a survival series and play the game from scratch and that is going to be very much the focus going forward a, a proper survival series like the way I started this permadev series and we're just going to experience learning the game together guys anyway I think I've rambled on long enough in this video so this is where I'm going to leave it hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I haven't come across as being too negative about the game and multiplayer I still think it's a, a big feature I just think there's a lot of rough edges that need to be knocked off and on that note guys hope you've enjoyed the video and until next time whatever you do Enjoy your gaming.